All right, so last week we talked about how to read stack traces efficiently. And now it's time to find out how to get stack traces from emails or logs into your ID so you can actually browse them comfortably. Let's find out how that works. Okay, so I've got my website configured to send me an email whenever an exception happens. And I'll just pick an exception that happened at the beginning of 2018. I have it open in Outlook, and as you can see, it's a Stripe service card exception. Stripe service is responsible for my payment integration, which bills users' credit cards. And the card exception simply says your card was declined. And I showed you how to read that stack trace efficiently, as I mentioned in last week's episode. But imagine you want to have that stack trace open in your IDE to browse it better, to have a look at these lines in here. And what you can do is you simply copy the whole stack trace, like so, to your clipboard, then go to your IDE, and that's where it gets a bit IDE specific. In IntelliJ, there's a nice little menu item called Analyze Stack Trace. You click it, and you can see that IntelliJ automatically filled in the stack trace into the window. So you don't even have to paste it inside. And you can double check it if there's some line breaks or some errors in here. But that looks okay. You hit okay. And then a run window opens up with your stack trace pasted in as if you ran the program yourself. So you'll see the card exception here in red. The full stack trace, you'll see library code again, so code you didn't write yourself, grayed out. And blue codes or blue lines are the ones, is the code you wrote yourself. So when you scroll up and down, you can see that the only line again is Stripe service charge. You can click it and then you immediately get redirected to the um, file Stripe service, to the methods invocation, which through the exception, and you can see here it's charge.create, which is library code. So you cannot do anything about it. And it's a card exception, your card was declined, which simply means, well, the card was invalid or the bank of the guy or girl who tried to buy a subscription, for example, uh, declined the payment, something like that. Some, nothing you can do anything about. But that's great. So you can still scroll up and down here. You can open up the uh, single lines, hop to them, have a look at them. And uh, that's basically all I wanted to show you today. You should feel pretty confident by now about reading, browsing, analyzing stack traces. So play around with the concepts you learned in this episode and last episode. And other than that, stay tuned and tune in for next week's tip.